some people have been told or believe themselves that it is your responsibility to, to have intercourse, especially if you're in, in a married situation, often more for women than for men. It is your responsibility to have kids. That's just what you're there to do. And it doesn't matter whether you like it or not or whether it hurts or not. You're just there to be a receptacle and then produce a child. Um, that's, a, that's an issue. If you have a very mechanistic view of it like that, then you might think that, well, I, it's just going to hurt and it, I have nothing I can do about it. A woman, a woman could still get pregnant if she hurts, but she is unlikely to get the lubrication and the mobility and the things that, that would make it more likely for the sperm to get to the egg. So she not only hurts, but she's also not lubricating like you would and not um, to decrease likelihood of getting pregnant. Uh, I don't recommend it as a form of birth control because it's pretty miserable. Don't do that. There can be infection or, or tissue damage um, that, that can have caused a hypersensitivity in the area. And for women, even if that was the, the cause, like there was an infection or there was damage with childbirth or something happened, and pain persists after those tissues have healed, there still can be some structural problems in there as those, those tissues should stretch and move. And you should be able to tolerate touch, pressure, and shearing of those tissues. So if, those, if touch hurts, you're not going to tolerate pressure. If pressure hurts, you're not going to tolerate shearing. So there's a little bit of physics involved into it, both for a female and a male. There, like anything we would do if something hurts, is you'd start to get the exposure back, the tolerance back to it. So touch in the area to, to desensitize it. So finding out that, that, oh, I can touch here and it doesn't hurt as bad. So it'd be a graded exposure or a desensitization of the area. And then understanding that not only is, is it normal to have touch not hurt and expansion of the tissues to not hurt, but it's supposed to feel good. So I tell my patients that pleasure's on the other side of boring. Um, there's nothing boring about pain, and we protect. And the muscles of the pelvic floor protect really well. That's their job. Um, so you need to almost have it just be boring, just like touching the back of your hand is. Like it can make sex so very not sexy when we talk about that in the clinic. It's like, nope, it's touch, or touch it's movement, it's tolerating this just like putting lotion on your face or, or on your leg or rubbing your hand and get it that boring. Then you're not expecting that it's going to hurt. And we get that, that shift, the, um, the point where your expectation is it's going to hurt and you're already protecting shifts to expecting that it will be boring and silly and this exercise is ridiculous. Then you can start adding pleasure back into it. I have more questions. Um, I, well, I'd wanted one of the things if it was just like, hey, it hurts when I have sex, yeah, it does that happen often? Is this new? Because there are some things you'd want to check out and rule out. If it seemed like a mostly just, I heard it was supposed to be good and this isn't good, I don't like it. One of the first things to check is, are you getting, are the tissues getting lubricated like they should? Or then just could be just too much friction. And again, we can go to technique. Um, the size of your partner matters, the size of any sex toy you might use matters. So there can be some very non-pathological structural things to change. Are you in a hurry? Are you trying to have sex really fast before your kids wake up, come in, but you got to go to work and all of those things? Especially for a woman, it might just be that your body is really saying, no, I am not interested. So it, it won't be as easy and it won't be as pleasurable. So there's those kind of how it all goes together that comes with it. If there seems to be a particular area, like I, in different positions I'm okay, but this position really hurts, and you're still interested in having sex, have sex in one of the positions that doesn't hurt. There was a really interesting study that was done. They got 13 couples to volunteer to have sex in an MRI, and they, they have videos of what that looks like between a male and a female, and the penis curves up. So we'll tell people, it's like the anterior wall of you, hurts 
we know that, that the penis curls up, so don't be on your back. Be on your belly or your side, and then it will, the more part of the pressure will be in a different area. So sometimes it's positional like that, or if your back hurts in a particular position, be in a different position. Women are still told, especially in the Western world, that if it hurts when you have sex, then you probably aren't very happy with your partner and that's your problem. You should get over it. Or no one expects you to enjoy it, just have some wine and, and deal with it. Um, or that happens to everyone. So why are you complaining? So we need a lot more education to say, no, this is not only not okay, but it's also changeable. Um, the other thing, women as, as they age can have changes with hormone changes and a really good lubricant or, or um, talking to a doctor about whether it's safe for you to have like a topical estrogen cream can be the difference between I hate this and oh, that's fine and it doesn't have to get worse.